Good morning, YouTube! It is so good to see you guys this morning. It has been a crazy, crazy week. Well, weekend. I had surgery last week, and, um, what was it? Saturday night, I started throwing up, and it put on until this morning, so hopefully it is done and over with, and we will be doing better. So today, I'm going to talk a little bit about RSO, and I freeze my RSO, and... Um, what I do exactly, how I process my RSO, what I do, I've had a lot of questions with people asking free, uh, what happens when you freeze it, what does anything happen to it when you freeze it. Hey Cuz, how you doing sweetie? Um, let me go ahead and share this out. And I will be right with you. So I have a fun day planned. We are gonna do a few videos today. One, we have an unboxing to do. Woohoo! You know that that's one of my favorite things to do. It is a blast. I love it. So we have a Daily High Club box ready to go. We are going to... Give me just a second. Gotta share it out. Almost done. One more and I will be right with you. How is everybody? I hope everybody had a great weekend. I am so sorry I missed you guys yesterday. I started throwing up again yesterday morning and it's just been hell in a handbasket. So I decided what better way to start off this week's videos than with a maintenance dose. So give me just a moment. Okay, let's do this. So I have my maintenance dose already here. It's already um, measured up. It's two grams of Rick Simpson oil. Um, all I do is I take a regular clean Q-tip, take it around the frozen part. Now, because it's been sitting here a little while, it has started to unfreeze, but it's not too, too bad. Um, it still holds form pretty well. So basically, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this frozen chunk of RSO. I'm gonna put it in my mouth and swallow it down and try not to taste anything because the taste is horrific. Um, and the taste you will burp it up for a couple of hours after eating it. Um, for those of you that don't do Rick Simpson oil on the regular, this would knock anybody out. Actually, a little pea-sized bit would knock anybody out. Um, but because my body is so used to doing it on a weekly basis, it helps me function. So, as always guys, fuck cancer. And that's it. Swallow it down and off we go. So, I went ahead, I know this is a quick video. Um, it is actually really, really simple. You just swallow that RSO down, it goes through your intestine, it melts down, it gets into all those oozy crevices and creeps. Now let me tell you, when it has, when I'm having GI issues or bowel issues, RSO helps me out phenomenally. It takes a lot of that gas pressure away, it takes a lot of that gas pain away. Um, because I have ulcerative colitis, that pain in your intestines is there quite often, so it is difficult. Hey Michelle, Ken, how you doing? I'm so glad they're hanging in there. I made uh, gummy pot leaves yesterday for those of you guys that are on my Instagram. Um, I was actually gonna bring one out here and I was gonna eat one and I totally forgot to grab one. So we will do that on one of the other shows that I do today and we'll eat one of our little pot gummies. But they are so good. The, the taste, I mean the only way I could really describe it is it's like a berry pop. It is so good. Um, and I started the new weed ball. So I'm gonna grab the new weed ball. I want you guys to see it. I'm so excited. It looks so cool. So I have just started this. This is the newest weed ball. These are actually pot leaves that I am putting on this ball. This one we will give it away when we hit 2,000 subscribers. So you guys have a chance at winning your very own little weed ball. The only thing I do require is that you hit that subscribe button at the bottom of this page and join the Weedies family. That is it. And you can get a beach ball of your own. So let's do this. We are gonna smoke. And then I'm going to set up for an outside review because we do still have our weed reviews to do today. 
We still have all kinds of fun stuff. And we have a box to open. Woohoo! Happy Monday! Yeah, this is my happy Monday. Uh, my happy Monday was spent with my head in toilet. So I apologize, guys. I do like to be here Monday through Friday between 10 and 11. I really do, but oh, you did not want to see me yesterday. <laughs> It was, I would have made each and every one of you cry. It was not pretty. It was so not pretty. Um, so I have my legalized the weed shirt on today. We are out here and about. We are going to preach that, free the weed. Um, you know, it's helped so many people at this point in time. If you haven't tried it, you might as well. If you don't want to try it, I get that. I understand. Um, it's kind of the same way that I don't want to be on opioids anymore. So I get that. I totally, totally get that. Um, and I wouldn't force anybody on that. However, I will say that I have found much better practices in smoking cannabis to help with my pain and with my anxiety and with my stress levels um, than I have the joy of opioids. So, um, you know, with cannabis, I don't get constipated, which is so amazing. I don't know, I, I can't handle the constipation anymore. So, and those opioid constipations are like the worst. So, I have here, I made a little bit of, I cleaned out my oil rig. So this is some oil resin. Um, it actually tastes kind of like a butter cream. It's really kind of, it's really good. I'm going to guess that it has a lower THC. Uh, basically what I do is I take um, Everclear and I run my run Everclear through my oil bongs or through all my oil rigs um, and clean it out and then I boil that Everclear off and then I can smoke it like so. So as always guys, fuck cancer. I guess I could turn the fan on. <coughs> <coughs> so one thing that I do want to make very clear that when you are doing this, anytime you're working with butane, especially large bottles like what I'm doing, make sure you do it in a well-ventilated area. You don't want to be sucking that down. It's, I mean, you, I wouldn't put my lips on it. You don't want to do that. So make sure you do have a well-ventilated area. We built this into our window so it's safe and secure and we can keep this vented out, which is nice. <laughs> and then right outside it, I can see the boat. <laughs> so I can pretend that we go out on the water at some point in time. So that is pretty much it for today, or for now. We are going to do an unboxing and a weed review today, still yet. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to keep watching me out. I am going to set up my other studio outside here in a moment, and then we are going to start our next weed review. Excuse me trying to see what we're doing our next weed review on. I think it's Liberty Haze and Blue Dot. I think, but I'm not 100% sure. I got a full book out and it's not out yet. So, and don't forget we have a Daily High Club unboxing. So, stay tuned guys. I will be back and we were going to have some fun today. Have a great day guys. Mad love, as always.